turd nugget. Wow, Mont, you're so nimble. That was that was amazing, truly. All right, Mr. Stankles, come on. So much grace. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's Mark it. Get out of here. Oh, did I? I got sunglasses somewhere. Oh, let's get Let's go. Marty, your dense booty is making us stuck. It's not mine, it's yours. I got that winter weight. Oh. oh, okay. All right, sit down there, Skippy. All right, good job. You did it. Oh, there's an eagle over there. Huh. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm out with Mr. First Mate, Pee Poops McToots, and uh, we're doing a night of canoe comping here. This is a spot that I've been to before a time or two. Uh, I actually haven't been here in... I didn't come here at all last year. So I should be wearing sunglasses right now, but I'm not. Um, I'm wearing a long sleeve black hoodie because, well, it's it's about 54 degrees Fahrenheit, which is something Celsius. Um, so it's, it's a little bit on my warmer side. So I don't really want to be wearing this, but you know, it, it, it's, it's spring, early summer are green, the leaves are green, they're coming in, and the mosquitoes are just horrible. Just absolutely horrible. Uh, I put, as soon as we got out of the car, I was getting off that bug lotion that I've been using, and I look over at Monty, he's been out of the car for maybe 10 seconds, and I'm like, ah, maybe I should see if they're bothering him, and I look, and there's like 30 mosquitoes on his nose. And I'm not exaggerating at all, it was like, just so many mosquitoes instantly just get on that long creepy slender snout of his and I put some of that bug lotion on there and not bothering them. And it also brings us to this breeze. Uh, normally you hear me talk about the breeze. I'll complain about it for fishing, but for bugs, it's a saving grace. Uh, it's really nice, especially right near that portage. It was blowing around. Hopefully where we're camping it has a nice breeze blowing on it. Uh, so that's going to make the mosquitoes very full of energy tonight when it calms down, but either way. So, I'm sir, I'm sir, I'm sir Poza, I suppose. Uh, I suppose, uh, what am I even doing? What am I doing? Uh, I suppose some of you may be wondering why there's no video last week, last Sunday. Uh, that's not going to be a new trend here. Um, 
there's a reason. And I will explain that probably when we're setting up camp, not right this second. But yes, there is a reason. It's, I, I don't want to say it's a good reason. It's a bad reason. Everything's okay. It's a bad reason. But no! saying something about something and I don't remember but we'll get to it. Anyways, we got a little more paddling to do and then we're going to put it again. And, uh, yeah. You know, I've been asked before, like, are you saying portage right? And there's, there's really two ways of saying portage. There's the way I say it, which is portage, and then there's the incorrect way. Oh, Monty, don't go on that size pool. Ooh, Monty, this way, come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know. This is one of your favorite spots too. Oh, the mosquitoes, Monty. This is where we want the wind. They're pretty bad. Oh, this is just one of my favorite spots in the world. Uh, hi, Monty. This was uh, the first spot Monty ever went camping. Right, Monty? Yeah. You're such a cute little puppy. You're so good. He's so good. He's gonna be the world's most tolerant dog. Isn't that right? Yeah, I think this was your first ever spot you went camping, Monty. That's one of the good memories. You know, we've had some voice squeaks here. You know, this was still, he's still catching. <clears throat> I don't know if my voice has ever squeaked like that, ever. That was bad. Oh man, that was a, that was a whoo! Let's replay that one. Catching, 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 catching. We've uh, you know, thrown a fish. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh! I just threw the fish. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, 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 oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! We've uh, maybe done an owl? An owl dance? Oh, the mosquitoes are just swarming. I see ya. Go get me a stick. Get, give me a stick, alright? Maybe that's what we need from you, huh? Alright, bouncy bunny. Okay. What's this? Okay, psycho. Alright. Hi. Okay. Alright. Okay, Mr. Mr. Fluffy Pants. Okay. All right, let's start by getting some water here. Might as well get that going. snake scared me uh. 
That's a pretty big snake right there. He's looking right at me. Monty, 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 come back here. Monty, stay there, Monty. Monty, we don't want to mess with that snake. Hey. Yeah, that's a pretty, that's a pretty big, oh. He doesn't like being close. That's definitely a water snake. That's not, you know, garter snakes. I'm not, I'm not messing around with that one. Yeah, it's a brown water snake. I don't really know the exact perfect term, but it's kind of like you can see light brown and dark brown. It looks like he's got like a tan belly. That's a big old, big old snake there. Monty smells something. Where's his head? There it is. I don't want him around camp though, so uh, I am going to shoo him away because Monty's going to be walking in and out of this water. So I am going to have to just kind of move him along here. Oh, watch out, Monty. Let's continue with the setting up here. Yeah, I'm not really worried about anything venomous. Uh, there's not really venomous things up here, you know, up in the north. Uh, but still, that one, out of all the things up here that I've considered potential make you sick if they bite you that's the only one I've been I remember seeing those as a kid and I've seen them before not super often but you do see them but uh, those I don't mess with and you know you're not supposed to mess with wildlife but I didn't really want that thing hanging around right there where Monty was just walking for drinks back and forth so better safe than sorry with the old big brown snake Now, Ruger, on the other hand, Ruger would probably attack him. <laughs> hey, Monty's doing his... Monty, this is the Monty mosquito defense system. It's, it's proven to work uh, half the time. It works every time. We are going to set up some stuff here, set up camp a bit. We've got about four hours of light remaining for the day. Uh, oh, I got some birch bark I collected while we were portaging. Keep that here for later. Uh, anyways, yeah, we got about four hours. I'll probably collect it. There's a little bit of firewood here, luckily. Uh, we'll probably collect a little bit more. I don't know if I'll process it. We'll probably just wait. But. Uh, Let's talk about why there was no video last week while we're setting up. Okay? Okay. So you guys know by now, for those of you that have been around the channel a lot, I don't often talk about things other than the channel and outdoor related stuff. Kind of keep my personal life personal. And, uh, you know, if it's something major, I'll bring it up. You know? That's just how she goes. But we'll give you a little glimpse here. So last video, Monty, you're going to get eaten by mosquitoes over there. Whatever, he'll figure it out. Uh, last video where I went fishing, I talked about how there's been some personal stuff going on at home and just yada yada, everything's fine. So one of those things is uh, this most recent one, which took a took a turn last this last week here. Uh, so... Funk's mom has had some crazy issue with her spine. I don't even know what it's called. We're not going to get into details. We're just, it's a spine issue. And she needed to have the surgery. And she's been talking about the surgery and she went to have a doctor's appointment. And they were talking about the symptoms and all of a sudden the doctor got super worried. And basically she was within a week of not being able to walk. So we had her come over to our house and she was on pretty much 24 hour watch we were taking care of her and stuff and then she had the surgery after she was released from the hospital uh, we were taking care of her that you know she got released that day and uh, so we got the instructions on her medications and we were checking on her letting her sleep as much as possible 
you know, she was staying at our house and Funk went to check on her one of the times and she wasn't responding. And she was barely breathing, eyes open. Uh, I immediately, she called me in there, I ran in there. We were slapping her, trying to yell her name. She wasn't responding. Uh, so I was just immediately call 911 and it did not look good. It was very scary. Uh, we, we thought that it was going real south and yeah, long story short, the ambulance came. She started to finally respond and we thought it was like a stroke or something. We weren't sure. It was just, it was, it was very not good. And, oh, hey, I'm trying to tell a story here. Hey, hey, mister. I'm trying to tell a story. Hey, Monty, Monty. Like, hey, I'm just trying to lighten the mood, okay? Back off. Anyways, she's fine. What had happened is, uh, her meds, she she was over prescribed on her meds and we were following the directions to a T. Funk was having timers set and everything, following all her things and uh, you know, she went to the hospital with the ambulance, she was okay, she was responding. She doesn't really remember a whole lot of it, but uh, we finally, she finally met with the doctor and the doctor took away, he's, he's like, there is no possible way it was your guys fault, it's like 100% not our fault. So, cause Funk was a little worried that it was her fault and long story short, <laughs> it was chaotic and she's now she's, she got released from the hospital again. She's been on 24 hour watch and the day I was, I was planning on going camping the day after this all happened. So when it happened and Funk stayed at the hospital for like the entire night and just was there all the time, it was just, it, it was it, it was not a fun situation let's just say that I mean the only reason that I can like talk about it now and like be laughing and cheery and chipper and just smiling is because everything's a hundred percent fine so yeah that was an experience I'll tell you that much uh, I've never I've never thought someone was dying in my arms before so yeah so oh that's the other thing is the reason i'm we're still watching her 24 hours right now until i don't know how long i know frodo's staying with us for at least like two months because she can't have him around because some crazy spine surgery and he sometimes will pull a little bit he well you can't really see it this was like a day ago was this yesterday i think this was yesterday or the day before Anyways, he tripped me and I slammed on the ground and my knees all banged up. Frodo's a little bit of a doofus. But anyways, uh, Funk's sister is staying with us right now to help because Funk's, you know, she's, she's, a little, she's a little dog trainer and she's doing that. So when she's at work and I'm not there, we gotta have somebody watching her, watching her mom. So, yeah, anywho, so now that that whole spiel's over with, that's what happened last week. I'll tell you what, I normally, you know, I do post a video explaining myself, but the last thing on my mind was making, <laughs> making a video, if I'm gonna be perfectly honest. It was kind of like a, a little wake up. This is what happened when the wind dies down, Monty. They're gonna get you. If you sit over here, if you would just sit where I put you, they wouldn't get you so bad. Okay? I can't protect you over here because there's no wind. They're immediately getting on your snout. I guess, go get your stick. And we'll just throw that, and then you can't be, you won't be sitting still. Go get your stick. You got this? You got this? <laughs> All right. Okay. Enough jibber jabber. I'm gonna multitask here like I do, you know, put the sleeping pad in my mouth and uh, blow it up while I'm breathing out the air while I'm setting her up here. We're gonna get all this crap together, get some water filtered, then we'll grab a couple pieces of stick and then we're gonna go fishing. Cause for tonight's dinner, we have to catch something. If we, 
we don't want to eat some nasty what are those called vegetarian something foreign and weird that I just don't ever want to just experience but yeah the freakiest thing about it that whole situation was that her eyes were open with zero response just looking straight up gasping for air that was the part that's what really made it scary <laughs> that was whew. Dokies, Monty Okies, Monty Pokies, whatever you want to call yourself this day and age. Let's just pile this crap in and get some firewood, okay? And you're real vision. Go! That should be, I mean, there's a little bit of firewood there. We only need a little cooking fire. We don't need to have a ripping for heat or anything. So, we're gonna process this stuff up later. I'm gonna bring these back to camp and we are going to get on the water and get some fish. When you're out in the springtime and you know you're paddling fishing, you want to make sure to be safe. And when you're in a boat on open water and you're wearing long pants and muck boots, safety first is the number one thing. So always wear your sunglasses. Those of you rays will make you go blind. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Oh, look at those blue skies. Oh, they cleared up. It was cloudier earlier. I was kind of hoping for cloudy. I mean, sunny is great, don't get me wrong. In this wind, it's nice. Uh, this long sleeve is still pretty warm, but uh, cloudy is just really good. I love it for fishing. I love cloudy coverage. So we're gonna go with the old white twister, Mr. Twister. Ooh, we got a swivel on there. Ooh, and that's frayed up. We are gonna get rid of that. Now, if I were to put myself in the shoes of Captain Teeny Trout, we would ignore all that and refuse to change our line because we're stubborn. <laughs> so we're in a little bit of a conundrum. First, let's catch that first Bobby of the season. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna fish for like an hour on this lake roughly mostly for fun we might keep a bobby because we need some monty would like some fish for dinner too otherwise he's gonna get skunked i need one for my dinner and you know i always love doing this it's always it makes fishing all that more fun when you are relying on it for a meal like sure a safety net is great uh 
you know, if you want to be smart, but if you want to create that, that need to catch a fish and you try ever so much more and it's more exciting when you catch one, rely on it for food. <laughs> it, it makes it a lot more fun. Unless you don't catch anything and then it's not as fun. I mean, I specifically remember a time camping when I didn't catch a fish for dinner when I was relying on it. So what we're having for dinner is plain green cabbage. Mmm. So it's it's been known to happen. Ooh, the wind is calming down. It's like, it, there's still bursts of it, but it's definitely not like full-blown gusty the whole time. That's gonna make the mosquitoes bad at camp tonight. Hopefully it gets colder, because it's clearing up. Hopefully it'll be closer to freezing tonight. Hopefully we get in the 30s. That might tone down the mosquitoes a whole bunch. I feel like, for the early spring, you know, the water's a little cooler, and this side of the lake is in the shade for a good portion here. So they're probably not sitting over here as much. So we're gonna go to the other side of the sun. It gets a little shallower. Hope they're up there. That's where I'm stinking. I've caught a bunch of them. I've, I've caught them all over here. So there's tons of lily pads here. They go right up to these reeds, but it's kind of an edge here and it stops. There's not as much weeds. So it's a good chance. Get snagged. <sighs> Snag. Still snagged. There's a beaver home right there. See what I'll do sometimes is set up my camera and then you just go like this. And then they come check out what the heck is going on. Oh, they look at that. Oh, that's crazy. I've never really noticed that before. So beavers eat bark and stuff for food. And if you look at the shoreline there, they munched all those branches. Look at them all, they're all munched up. Oh, that was ugly. Oh, that was a bite. I wasn't ready for it. I wasn't ready. slack. There we go. Oh, that's a big old bobby. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, that's a nice bobby. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> bobby. Come on, Bobby. Oh, I see him. Oh, he's coming. Oh, that's a nice big bobby. Going under the reeds. Come on, Bobby. Come on, Bobbert. Bobbert, don't do me like this, Bobbert. Ooh, we don't want him jumping out of the water. Oh, stay in there, Bobby. Stay in there, Bobby. Oh, Bobby. Bobby. Oh, that's a nice chunky, Bobby. Bobby, please. Oh, yeah. Oh, now look at that chunker. Oh, that's a big old bobby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I ain't trying to eat a big old bobby like this. Not today. Look at that guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's just. 
Oh, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Look at that. Bobby Mouth. Big old boom Bobby Bass. All right. Let's start the season off right with a fish release cam. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. There ain't much better than the feeling of a nice big old Bobby biting your lure. He didn't bite it super hard, but still just that, that bite. Oh, oh, come on. Dang it. Screw that up. So another thing is uh, me and Captain Teeny Trout had some plans here, but he is just a busy guy this spring and he can't do much. But what I'm going to do is uh, use this footage here. Hopefully we catch a bunch more to entice him to maybe come out here with me. Because if there's one thing I know about the Captain Teeny Trout or Captain Dropping the Bass, is if you show him a spot where he can do some whopper plopper action and catch a big old bass, he's gonna have a hard time resisting. Kinda like a Monty with beef jerky. That's the way I look at him with a nice... Oh, what's that? Oh, that... I might see a big old snapper turtle. I just saw a head pop out and that did not look like no painter our eyes peeled and not spook it. Well, I definitely, it was definitely a big old snapper turtle. I got close to him and I know I aimed the camera in his general direction for a second, but then I, the wind just kind of blew me right over him. And I mean, I, I don't know if the camera was able to see anything. It was pretty murky. And as soon as I kind of pat, ooh, ooh, Bobby, <laughs> there we go, Bobby. Oh, we're just gonna, since he's so close here, there we go, a nice Bobby bass. There we go. Like I was saying, he was so close, and I went right by him and just whizzed right by. And once he was down there, you couldn't see anymore. But let's uh, let's fish release cam. Might as well. Monty's just oh, he's up now. Hi, Monty. You being a good boy? Oh, yeah, that's another thing I was going to talk about was my spring trip. As I said in my last video. Uh, Funk got super sick and I got sick and it was terrible and now Funk's about to need this surgery and that all happened within a, a week here or a couple weeks where uh, the surgery she was talking about getting it and they were going to be like uh, you know you'd assume surgery is a month or two months or three months out but once he learned the symptoms he's like we need to do this next week and he was all super serious so it was like it needed to be done so yeah spring trip is still <laughs> i'll do it as soon as i'm able to like you know as soon as i'm able to but right now we gotta take care of funk's mom and you know that's just the way it is You know, I can't just be like, well, see you later. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah, like I was saying, uh, <laughs> it's going to be a summer trip by the time I get out there. It's, it's already June. Or is it June? It's, it's pretty much June. But, yeah, that's just... You know, you know how it goes. When it rains, it pours. Ooh, there's a break in the lily pads. Ooh, and there's some nice big green lily pads. I smell a bobby. Yeah, it smells like a bobby bass up in here. Ooh, there's, there's a break in the lily pads in front of us. I smell a bobby.
Baba here too. Let's catch this Baba first, and then we'll move on to the other Babas. Come on, Baba. I know you in here. <laughs> re, re, re. Be very quiet. I'm hunting booby. Possible that there's not a fish there. There's a hundred percent a fish near that tree. Oh yeah, that's a nice cast. That's close to it. Come on. Oh, those weeds. Nothing. Oh, there we go. There's a fish there. We're gonna catch it right now. Disappointed! Right, we're really not gonna fish much more here because we're gonna try to go for, you know what we're going for. I don't need to repeat myself. I usually like to get here a little earlier in the season. Oh yeah, I knew there was a fish under there. Oh, I knew it. Oh, acrobatics, huh, Bobby? Oh, no you don't, no you don't, no you don't, no you don't, no you don't. He's trying to get back under the tree. No, Bobby. Oh, no, Bobby. No, you don't, Bobby. Come on, Bobby. Ooh, Bobby, oh, he's barely hooked. <gasps> We're gonna lose him. We're gonna lose him. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I knew there was a nice chunky Bobby lurking under that tree. Oh, look at the mouth on that guy. Look at that big old bobby bass. Oh yeah, that's a big chunky bobby. That's a piglet. Oh, that's a piglet. Chunky bobby. All right, we're gonna let this guy go. All right, there's a few down trees. Well, there's a ton of down trees, let's be honest. We're gonna take a few casts near them. And then we're gonna skedaddle over to the other lake. Now I know it seems like I'm catching fish here. Why not keep fishing here? And I've already explained myself that we want a trout and I do not believe there to be trout in here. I've never caught one. So, I mean, they could be in here, but I, I just don't think so. But uh, yeah, so we need to head back. And since that's the goal, and I mean, and another thing is sadly some I don't even have words to describe how much I dislike if it was a person. Uh, someone put bass and uh, perch in the lake that used to be just trout. And I don't know if there's a way that they can naturally just appear like that. I don't think so because uh, as far as I can remember, it's always been trout. And then it just... One time I just caught a bass and I was like, what the heck? And over the years, now I think they're probably finally, the bass are probably at a size where they're decent. And I just, I hope that they do not overtake that lake and I hope they're still trout in it. And like I said, I didn't come last year. So we're gonna see, we're gonna find out. If I, if I don't catch a trout, ugh. I'm gonna be not happy. But I do know that trout can live with bass. It's just if someone ever puts a pike in there in that lake, a northern, it's done. It's done. Yeah. Oh, that's such a good feeling. Oh, that's a pike. Oh no, it's a pita. These are the ones we don't want in that lake. We don't want no pitas. No pitas. Now we're not gonna do 
This is a skinny little northern. I'm not going to do a fish release with him. We're just going to let him go. Weeds, so many weeds here. All right, you know, we've caught our big bobbies. I think with the remaining like two and a half hours of light, we got like three hours of fishing. Let's go try to catch some trout. We need to secure this. And then, you know, if we secure it early, then we can just fish for fun. I mean, we could even come back if we want to. It probably won't, but I want to go secure some dinner. I'm sure there's some decent bass over there now because it's been, I mean, it's been like five, six years since I've been, or maybe it's been like four years since we found bass there for the first time. And they were small. I bet they're I bet they're respectable size now. I don't really know how long it takes from a bass to go from like this big to like that big. I would assume like five years maybe. Sounds like a decent amount of time. Depends how much of those trout they're eating. Oh this Okay, a couple more casts, 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 just a couple just just, just, just We've got a cloud of mosquitoes following us. We need to get out into this wind. But what I'm gonna do is since we are going for a hardcore fish dinner, you know, I'm gonna troll a line as I cast. And what we're gonna troll is my favorite little trout troll and lure. This little floating Rapala thingy. We're gonna, we're gonna kinda let this just trail the boat as we cast along the shore. We need to get just out a little bit, just catch a breeze, get these mosquitoes away, and then we can start casting. But what I'm gonna do is if I struggle to catch a trout, uh, casting, we are gonna do double line trolling. And that's usually my go-to Hail Mary. Need to catch a fish. If this, get out of here. Come on, wind. I just need a few gusts. You can calm down after they disappear. Oh, here we go. Here's a nice gust. Get away. There we go. Get away. Get out of here. Probably like two weeks ago, there'd be trout, you know, closer to shore. They might still be there. I don't know, but we're gonna try there first. Uh, what we're going to use to start is normally I use spinners and stuff, but we're going to try an eighth ounce little Cleo. Whoa. A little spoon because I can cast it further. Oh. Dang it, the stinking wind. It's going to be a little bit of a pain here, but now I'm fairly certain I'll catch bass like this, you know, but we want trout. I'd also take some perch if, you know, I had to, gotta catch something. We don't have any bites on this thing. We will switch to a spinner. Oh, there's something. What is it? Little Bobby, dang it. Little Bobbies, 
almost felt like a good sized trout. I couldn't tell right away. Dang it. That's, that's not a good sign. I mean, I knew I was gonna catch some of those, but if, you know, they're gonna be at all the spots I normally catch trout, we might be in for some trouble. Might have to wait till closer to evening to do some trolling. Right, we're no longer uh, gonna have a line trolling because I just had a big old tangle when I was reeling this one in and it was a 20 minute ordeal. Uh, I lost a bunch of line. I had to... Yeah, deal with. So, good news is... Oh, there's a fish. This is gonna be a bass though. I feel like I'm only gonna catch bass. It's definitely, it was a bass. Hmm. <sighs> I'm not seeing trout jumping. switch. I think we'll do one more cast with this and then we'll switch to a spinner. All right, this is the spinner I always catch them on. It's very light, so it's can't cast as far, but we'll see if maybe there's any lurking up here in the shade. Oh, Monty just burped. Ooh. A bluegill. Ooh, that's a good size bluegill. All right. I mean, <laughs> we're not going to say no to that. That's a big fat bluegill. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're going to get this guy on the stringer. I mean,. I want a trout. What we're going to do is I'll, I'll keep some of these bluegill, but we're still going to go hardcore for trout because I really want my trout dinner. But anyways, the good news is we're having fish dinner. It's happening. And if it seems like I'm disappointed at all, it's mostly because... I don't want these fish in this lake. Oh. There's a Bobby. Dang it. You shouldn't be here, Bobby. You shouldn't be here, Bobby. Take more of the bluegills, though, I guess. A trout just surfaced. I think that was a trout. We're going for that. That makes me very happy. I'm very certain that was a trout. Fairly certain. I can't say 100% because I can't see it. It looked like a trout. The question is, do I... Do I risk it and start trolling for trout? Or catch some of these bluegills and at least secure a big fat meal and then make it extra fat with the trout. Ooh. This feels like a bass because I, I mean, if this was a trout, this would be just a monster. Oh yeah, it's a, oh, oh yeah. It's a bobby. There you go, Bobby. All right, so what we're going to do, I think what I'm going to do, the final plan here is I'm going to catch some of these bluegill and try to get like four or five and have a big fat meal for me and Monty. We're both getting lots of fish. And then we're going to try for one trout to throw on top of it. So we have a nice, just thick meal. 
Dang it. Oh, this seems like a decent bass. Oh. Oh my gosh, there's so many bass. Normally, they'd be a great thing. Oh, these are... That's a that's a big old bobby. This is 100% the biggest one I've caught in this lake. That is a big thing. He was he did not put up as much of a fight as he should have. Big, healthy, thick bobby bass. He's probably eating all the trout. <laughs> all right, might as well fish release cam this big thing. Get out of here. Bobby. Dang it. I thought for a second the way it was swimming, it might have been something non Bobby ish. But it's a Bobby. way back but I, I just need something else in my life right now <laughs> that's got to be a bass oh it's a bass I mean it's fun don't get me wrong it's just my desire to catch Oh, this one's decent. That's a decent bobbert. There he goes. That was a good sized bobbert. hang out. Oh, that's, that's, there's no way that's not a trout. All right, we're, gonna, we're gonna go for this one. And then we're gonna, we're gonna troll for a minute. Just do a couple passes. We've got enough time. We're gonna do a quick just troll. We're doing it. Enough dinking around. We're gonna go trolling for a trout. Just as I said that to surface right next to me, I'm gonna cast this lure. It's horrible. My worst nightmare is going to be when I catch a bunch of bass trolling these lures going for trout. I just can't get too close to the, where I can see bottom. Okay. We got a fish on. There's n the way it's fighting. It feels like a bass. I might have been too close to shore. I don't know. I can't tell. I honestly can't tell, but the way it pulled initially makes me think it was a bass. But it was decent ways out. It could be. Come on. Come on, be a trout, baby. Come on. Oh, 
Oh, yes! Yes! Oh, baby, that is a beautiful... <laughs> oh, baby, that is a perfect fish to feast. Oh, my gosh. That, I thought, was a little big for a trout, but that is... This is probably the biggest I've ever caught out of here. Holy crap. That is going to be a tasty feast tonight. Oh my gosh. I mean, I'd almost let him go, but <laughs> we're eating them. Oh my gosh, that is a... day for you, Larry. I've waited all day for you. That was my first cat. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is a... Oh jeez! Oh. <laughs> Alright, let me get this guy out and then we're gonna show you to the as, as I unhooked, or as I got this back over the boat it came off immediately so I almost lost this thing all right ladies and gentlemen that is look at the colors on that guy let me just get the death grip look it's not as orange but look at the the spots that is a beautiful, beautiful brook trout. Oh, yeah. That is a beautiful fish right there. And that is going to be oh so delicious. Go for like, I mean, we're, we're set. But Monty, if he wants one more, then he's got teeth. Oh, that is a beast of a trout. That is going to be so much food tonight. I think that actually we might be set. Now we can just at least go tr casting. Now we can enjoy catching the bass. So there is still trout in here. That's the good news. That is very good news. The thing that worries me slightly is there's no sign of small ones. That's worrisome. The last time I came here, I also caught big ones. Didn't catch any little ones, which is kind of like a sign of the, you know, makes me worry a little bit. But we can count. We'll cast for more towards dark if they uh, start surfacing. If we see them surfacing like crazy, that's a good sign. Oh, oh man, we are feasting. I was just reeling in my line after that tangled mess, and I got one on. And it's a booby. It's a boobert. Little boobies. Little boobs. What do you think? I think you need more than one one big fat gill. Hmm? There we go. Where are you? Oh, I thought that was a big perch for a second. It was just a little bobby. See that's If you fried up a bunch of them like that, oh, it'd be so good.
All right, the sun's getting pretty close to setting, and we we just had a bite right when I was uh, messing with the camera there. We had a bite. Um, so pretty much what we're looking for, like I've already said a million times, because some guy or lady or you know just. I'm just, we're gonna, we're gonna blame it on somebody right now. We're just gonna pick a name and that's, that's who did it. And I'm sorry if, if your name happens to be the same as this person I'm about to blame without, with zero evidence, just a gut feeling. I think it was some guy named Arnold. I don't know why, but Arnold, Arnold, I, don't, I can't believe you. I can't believe you did this. Put bass and stuff in here. Anyways, because of Arnold, now we have to do a science experiment and see if... Ooh, something surfaced. See if there's little trout in here. I want to catch a little trout. That would be a good sign. Little trout means that they are reproducing and they're still surviving. If it's just big trout, then it's, you know, eventually it's just going to be like I caught there and just over time there'll be less and less. was barely hooked it felt small at first and then when he pulled away it felt decent mixed feelings about that I don't know if it was a teeny trout dang it We're not gonna, we're just trying to see the size. We're not gonna pull them out in the net. Feels decent. Is that a bass? Oh, it's a bass. Disappointed. Another bass. Oh, there's a loon. Loon, 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 Dang it. Bass. Dang it, Arnold. Why? Do you think we should keep dwelling on this forever? Get over it. No. I don't really care what you do, but if you keep messing up, my, my just. Before, before we go down that line. Come on, T. Do you think we should just keep dwelling on this forever? Never get over it? Or just move on? So, as you know, I don't really care what you do. But, uh, as long as you shut up and you're messing with my immersion, I'm immersing myself in the wilderness. Right now, it's pretty peaceful. Other than you yapping and blabbing. So, 
There's my two set. Okay. All right, Monty. You wanna go get eaten, eaten alive by some mosquitoes? Let's do it. Let's get a fire started to ward off some of these skeeters. Mosquitoes. Oh, I think they're biting my butt crack. Oh, definitely. Oh, you turd. Show you the trick. He's clapping his legs. He's clapping his legs. It's a nice new trick, Matty. How do you do that trick? How do you do that trick? Huh? How do you do that trick? Huh? Well, watch out for that boat. Watch out for that boat, mister. Yeah. Oh. Mosquitoes are not too bad. It's cold enough. Right, oh, you're a groany little bouncy bunny. Little vicious critter. What? What? Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, oh what's that? Give me that. Give me, give, me, give, me, give me that stick. Give me that. Give me that stick. Give me that stick. Give it here. You're frisky. You wanna play fetch? You wanna fetch the stick? Don't play stick. Come on, psycho. Yeah, but like I said, it's uh it's chilly, which is good. The mosquitoes are still out, but since I started the fire, they're really not bad at all. Like they're they're definitely like flying around, I can hear them buzzing. But if it were to be 10 degrees warmer, we would be getting swarmed, completely swarmed. So this is just, this is perfect. <laughs> okay, don't bark. Now, I just hope my friend shows up tonight. He can be a real hoot. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter how late uh, we stay at because he's a real night animal. I got him all day, Monty. I got him all day.
are acting a little loony there, Monty. What you think about that? Got this nice perfect stick. No one to throw it for. What will I do with such a nice stick? Oh hi. Were you perhaps interested in my perfectly smooth stick for throwing for dogs? <laughs> Oh, so I just want to reiterate one more time in case you didn't notice or haven't taken note, but it is my absolute ideal, absolute perfect conditions. Uh, it's just so perfect right now. The temperature is just, it's like the perfect temperature. It's not so cold that you're, you know, freezing and the fish aren't biting and yada yada but it's just the perfect temperature where the, the mosquitoes are like disappearing. They're, they're really just going away and like, I can't, I can't even explain how many, we're so close in the degrees where they'd be going crazy, but they just are like, eh, a little too chilly. And it's like a nice clear night. We had a nice crescent moon. Um, I'm starting to get a little chill where I'm gonna put on some thermals here and maybe my other hoodie. Bring it here, Monty. Come on, Monty. Come on, Monty. He's gonna get him excited. If you're having fun, he's having fun. And if he's having fun, I'm having fun. So we're all having fun, right, Monty? Yeah, yeah so uh, it's just perfect out. And like, you don't get this in, in spring that much. Like, you don't get these ideal days where just the bugs disappear at night, the fish were biting all day, I mean, it was great fishing. I could have, if I really wanted to, if I wasn't like, I would have liked to stay on the other lake and catch some more of those big bobby basses. But we could have caught more here. There's just, there's so many little ones in this lake. It's, the, the bigger ones are further between. But bring it here, Monty. I'm just gonna get excited. Crazy. See? Once you, once you get crazy a little bit, then he comes running back with the stick. It works every time. That's a trick I found out, is you just gotta, you just gotta entice him. If he doesn't think it's enough fun, he's not gonna bring it back. Anywho, we're just gonna throw the stick here. We got the fire burning. Uh, I'm gonna put on some warmer clothes and then we're gonna sit down and relax by that there fire. I don't even know if you can see me right now. There's one mosquito that flew by the camera and that's the only mosquito I see. This is just unexpected. I thought we were going to have to sit near the fire. They just kind of disappeared after the dusk. Completely. This is awesome. Now, the only thing that could make this spring trip even more perfect 
is my friend to show up. And we'll dance. If he shows up. Or she shows up. I don't really know. I can't tell. I never know. Anyways, Monty. God. Oh, don't bark, don't bark. Oh, don't, 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 bouncy bunny. That's the spear right there. Let's get a nice, oh, oh, some fresh water. Oh, I love when the the water's cold enough to just be. You know, sometimes in summertime it gets warm and kind of gets that plasticky taste. But it's just a good temperature right now. It's nice and cool. Oh, as you can see, I've got my camp pants on, which are just my long johns. Uh, so my pants, the, the zip-offs that I always wear, I think those are my original pair, my second pair. At some point... When I got the first pair, which was years ago, uh, I thought it would be a good idea to order more pairs in the same size, assuming that I wouldn't gain any size in the waist, which they were snug to start. They were like, eh. and then the last couple years they've been pretty snug and this year they're just a little more snug <laughs> and it's like it's kind of like rubbing not good where the button is it's just it's a little snug <laughs> so i'm taking those off for now um i should have accepted when i ordered those new pairs that the first pair was snug. i thought it just shrunk so i ordered more in there and it's a little snug and now I've got some that are a little snug. Anywho, uh, yeah, so one of two things needs to happen. And I think the thing that's going to happen is just I need to get a pair of the proper size. Because <laughs> we're going to be eating some delicious food here over the next few years. And, you know, I don't know if I have the, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. Oh, anyways, we got the fire burning, and we're just uh, letting it burn down to get some nice coals so we can start making some dinner. And you kind of know what we're having tonight. Fresh caught brook trout with my Pose's famous guac salsa, or salsa mole if you're weird, but it's guac salsa with uh, some fresh asparagus and rice. That's my, that's my favorite way to cook fresh trout over a campfire that guac salsa it's so good it's so good if you get a nice avocado mm, we're gonna butter fry that trout oh man Monty's gonna have his sweet potato with some bluegill you might even give him a little chunk of trout too but uh, yeah <sighs> I'm sure you can see me better now there you go it's funny when uh, I go camping with like Jake and other people I just I just I've gotten so used to staring at this bright light when I'm camping and making videos and stuff That it just it doesn't bother me really. I mean sometimes at the end of the night Yeah, I like to shut off the camera 
or the light in the camera and just kind of chillax, but I got so used to that light that when I go camping with like Jake, he's just like, oh, that light, what are you just blinding us? Because like it is, it is just like someone having a headlight on and just looking at you the whole time with their headlight on. That's what it's like. Oh, but I've just gotten used to it. Also get used to staring at the sun. I'll probably go blind because of it. I never stare directly at it. Oh, that's much worse when you stare directly at it. I just kind of stare at the camera and it's, you know. Oh, what else can we chat about? Um, oh, yeah. So, uh, you know, some folks have been talking, thinking that the giveaways already happened or it's done. Well, it, it hasn't. I just, uh, we're gonna do a video where I announce the winners, and we'll do the giveaway. It's still happening. I mean, I've got everything ready to go. I just, I haven't selected the winners yet, is the thing. You know, we're just giving, what we'll, we'll, we'll say, what we can say is that we're giving everybody extra time to enter, but what we, what I, what I mean is I've been a pretty bad procrastinator, okay? I'm not perfect. I never said I was. Like I said, we got Frodo, and uh, he's like our our step dog. <laughs> he's a, he he's a peculiar critter, and him and Ruger are just the most ridiculous the most ridiculous combination. They get extremely jealous of each other, and uh, like Ruger, if you start petting him and like pet, loving on him hard. Frodo comes up and tries to like nuzzle his face in between and get in the way and like try to get in there and then Ruger kind of like ah, like like lightly bites at him like ah, I got that they're petting me <laughs> it's just so ridiculous and then uh, if we let Frodo up in the bed to sleep at night Ruger poutingly leaves the bedroom and goes and sleeps in the living room he's just ridiculous creatures. Monty, he just doesn't care. Monty is completely neutral. He has no jealous bones. The only thing that he cares about is treats. Other than that, he'll sleep wherever he sleeps. Just does his Monty thing. What is that? What's that noise? Huh? You're first flying everywhere, mister. Oh. You got little fuzzy balls on your eyes from your fur flying out. You want more? Or is that good? What does that mean? What does that mean, Mr. Overbite? Okay. You want me to stop? I don't know what it means. I asked Monty if he was hungry, and now he's up in my face. So, um, as you'll see, I've been using these lately for all my food packing needs, and these are Rubbermaid Brilliants. Uh, I was sent one of these by a subscriber a long time ago, and I always loved it. It was like the perfect little dish, and I just upgraded to having bunches of these, and now I kind of just put all my fresh produce in a bunch of these instead of using plastic bags like I used to and it's not only is it less garbage and crap it's just nicer all around we've got some bag asparagus already cut off the ends there oh I don't know if that's gonna fit actually well that's pretty big piece of asparagus we gotta go in that one now that's a lot of asparagus and we'll do our guacalsa in there and since I forgot a cutting board, we're gonna, we'll use that. So, 
where where are we at with all this all right first things first we're gonna throw in some cilantro to the guar calsa because it's there it's easy we'll do a quick little rough chop I like lots of cilantro you know if you're making poses famous guac calsa you don't have to use this much but you know why not why not okay then we've got an avocado now the avocados whenever you're using these it's important that they're perfect and I don't know how to you know other certain people have ways like you can use like the end there and check that see if it's perfect I go by feel and you just gotta feel them out and they just got like a look at that every time you just gotta have a you have a slight we're just gonna they just gotta have that slight uh you know they move in a little bit Getting a little cold now. Being very gentle to not cut through the skin. Just go like that. Oh yeah. Get that all in there. Glory to go to waste. Okay. Put that off to the side. Then what else this place got? Oh yeah, we got some garlic. We're gonna throw in some fresh garlic. We'll just do oh, oh. I gotta crush it with my thick thumbs. Let's do three cloves, but we won't put that all in for the guac calsa. See, it's at this point right now when I'm doing this that, you know, I'm not sure. I don't remember if I put fresh garlic in there. Because fresh garlic, I don't know if you've ever eaten fresh chopped garlic, but it's quite spicy. <laughs> and now that I'm thinking about it, I just can't remember. I think I do. I think it just somehow just all comes together and just works. Maybe it's just the garlic on its own is the is the issue of eating it like that. All right, we're gonna put some of that in there, and the rest of this is gonna go in the pan with the fish. Okay, now we gotta use that special, we've got some ginger. My friend Aaron showed me, if you just take your spoon and you scrape off the skin. Put that back in here, I never knew that until she did that. And it works so well, I used to chop off the outsides and I'd waste so much ginger, but look at how easy it comes off with just just taking a spoon and just kind of just scraping the skin off. Ginger is also the same as garlic, like fresh raw ginger. It's uh, it's potent stuff, but I remember. It. Ooh, the loons are going crazy. We're having this conundrum last time and we concluded that it does in fact taste good in there okay the chunks of that in there 
And then I've got uh, half of a jalapeno that I kind of pre-cut at home, got the seeds out, so I don't have to get my hands completely coated in raw jalapeno juices. in there. I'm going to take a lime. I don't know if I need one or two. I can't remember, but I got two just in case. We're going to take the lime. And we're going to juice that whole lime into that rock also. Just a sprinkle of pepper. I don't know if I added this last time, but we're gonna do a sprinkle this time. And just a pinch of salt, not too much salt, not too little salt, just the right amount of salt. Just a slight pinch. Okay, now let's mix this beast. I think it's getting a little cold now, so. Gonna... Oh, this is, a little, this is a deep, it's a little harder to mix in this. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. All right, now let's see if the flavor's there. Mmm, oh my gosh. That is absolutely perfect. Mmm, I could eat this all right now. Just as it is. Mm. I was an excited toot. Okay. Guac also is ready. We're gonna add in our rice. If I can get that on there. We're gonna do Monty's sweet potato. Oh, that guac also is so good. never really matters how much I chop it up because it boils anyways and it just turns to mush. I mash it so. There's Monty's sweet potato. To our asparagus, we're gonna add a little salt, not too much salt, not too little salt, just the... Well, I added salt, not too much, not too little, just right amount. We're gonna add a little black pepper. And then we've got butter. We're not going to add that until we start cooking. We got butter for that. This light is dying slowly. We got to add in, let's see, one cup. Okay, add that in. Then we got to add Monty's water. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to flay up our fish. We're going to get, we're going to get the rice and Monty's on the fire here. And then I'm going to flay up our fish, and once our rice gets going, then we will start to add in the rest of the goodies. Let's get to cooking. Get that on there. Montes can get the spotlight. <laughs> there it is. Get that to a boil. So, just in case anyone's worried, I can confirm that our friends did just say hello very far away. Let's hope they come say hi, you know, really close. But I did hear them say hello. It was a distance, very distant hello. Okay, let's get the lid on there. All right, I'm gonna go play the fish as all this stuff gets going here. All right. The worst imaginable thing has happened. Oh. 
a stinking snapping turtle ate my fish. Absolute stinker. Luckily, I can salvage some of that. He got the blue. Oh, this is the worst. <laughs> Can't say this is the first time I've had one of my fish stolen. I didn't see snappers here. Oh, my. I am just in shock. First otter stole my fish, now a snapping turtle. You absolute turd nugget. Oh, you're just, oh, you. Oh, I am just very upset with you. I might go. You have the audacity to come back. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I see you. You're very obvious as to what you're doing. I see you. Yeah. Clear as day. Guilty, can you see me? Oh, turtle, evil turtle. You. Turd nugget. Get out of here. Oh, I can't believe it. And he, I, there was no noise being made. All right. Okay, so I was able to salvage. He got a good chunk of like the, he got the meatiest part. Um, I got some scraps for Monty. This is at least enough food for him. Like. It's, it's, it seems, well, there's a little bit more I can get, but it seems gross, but uh, this is all gonna be boiled. <sighs> My fillets, you can see they should have been like this. <laughs> so we're still gonna have a good fish dinner. I gotta clean this all up, but we might as well just give him what he wants. I mean, he's gonna get it anyways. Jeez. 
Wow. Fine, just take the rest of it. don't want to give it to you because you're rude, but fine. You win this day, turtle. You stinker. <laughs> well, I was not expecting to get robbed by a turtle today. was just delightful <laughs> uh, when I first saw that when I walked over there and recorded him initially I thought he had gotten a majority of the fish it the way it looked in the water when I just first saw it I thought it was toast and I didn't see the other fish that thing is getting fat and sassy tonight and I figure like what the heck anyways like uh <laughs> Normally, you know, I, I don't feed wildlife ever. It's just he was going to eat that anyways, and he already ate most of the fish anyways. What the heck? Why not give it to him? That's the second time I've been robbed by a snapping turtle. Something else has got a perch. I don't have my waterproof case on but the snapper decided he wanted the perch and you're gonna get it buddy I just uh <laughs> look he's got a big old leech on his back look at that that's a big leech all right hold on I had to cut this fish free you enjoy buddy have a good day and the third time I've been robbed by wildlife. Nugget stole my dinner the yesterday too. But at least we, we got, I got more meat than I thought I was going to. So we're not going to get quite feast status, but it'll still be delicious. And I, I, now I don't get to roast up the trout. I wanted to cook it up whole and pull the bone and get all that meat off there. All that meat off the... What are you doing, Monty? This look in a weird position. Oh yeah, the owls are kind of getting closer. 
Anyways, that's a little setback there. You know, when you're out there cooking in the woods, sometimes you're just going to get robbed by a snapping turtle or an otter. It just happens. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've never seen... I don't... Maybe I have. I wasn't sure if there was otter or snapping turtles in this lake, but... I've definitely been worried about otters before in this. I just... It's that first time of the year sort of thing where you forget and just I was out I did I just didn't even hear anything I, you know I thought I would hear like tugging maybe Monty would hear the noise and make a, no, a little bark or something but there's nothing that thing was sneaky turtle it was almost like a ninja turtle <laughs> snappy the ninja turtle you know, we're just giving back to the old nature. Not a single ounce of that fish is getting wasted, that's for sure. All right, got a nice healthy chunk of butter. I'm gonna put it on our fish fillets. And then of course, on top of that delicious fishes, we're gonna sprinkle some Montreal steak seasoning, they got a little water in it apparently because it's all clumped together. <laughs> That's okay. So yeah, like I said, I wanted to fry up the fish. It kind of fries in butter a little better. This will still fry good. It's just going to cook up a lot faster. So we need to get our rice going. But anyways, everything's ready to just throw on and cook. So we just need to just recoup, reset, and eat. Rice is boiling. Give that one final stir to keep it from sticking. And we're going to keep that off the main heat. Keep that just simmering. We don't want it to simmer too much, too hard, too hot. It burns. Um, so we don't want that. So we're going to let this go for like a good five, six, seven minutes. And then uh, we'll throw in our fish and our asparagus and gets to cooking all that.
need to sit down for a minute. There's some wild hooter action going on. <laughs> Man. Uh, yeah, you can definitely call those owls in. That's what I just did there. They were kind of, you know, off in the distance. Kind of a little bit over there. And then I called them in and they were just... They were right there. Then they were right there. And then they were back here. And then they went away again. And then they were like right next to us in this tree. And they're, they're still moving all around. Uh, they didn't seem to mind me and Monty crunching around too much, but as soon as I got into an area in the trees where I'm pretty sure they were sitting in, and I flashed that bright light on them trying to see them, then they kind of stopped making noise. And then, yeah, they're going nuts. I'll probably call them back in again once we're... I'll do it right when we start eating food to see if they can come make noise uh, while we're eating. But there's no way it can be coincidence. I'm pretty sure I'm calling these owls in to come. I mean, they were they were literally like 20 feet from us, just going nuts. And I've never had them that that. I've never had them do that so close. That was crazy. See if Monty's mangled mush wants to mangle it all. Oh yeah, look at that. that. That's a... Oops. That mush is mangling. So you know what that means? Monty's mangled mush is done. We're going to add some puppy chow to that. And let his start cooling. Look at that. That just mangled mush. Oh yeah. He just... Mmm. Oh yeah. That's his... That's his favorite right there. We're pretty much just waiting on some asparagus. I'm pretty sure our fish is done. Asparagus. Ooh. Ooh. That fish. Oh yeah, that's done. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna kind of keep this off to the side here. All right, that's done for sure. This is almost done. We're okay, let's start let's start plating this bad boy up. First things first. Dump a bunch of that rice in there. I might have made a little too much rice this time. That's okay. That'll happen. Oops. Let's get. That is very good on there. And last but not least, that world calls uh, right on top of that fish. Oh, we're going to just add it all. It's a lot, but... <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, with the fork of approval, that right there is a delicious fishish dinner. <laughs> that was almost eaten by a snapping turtle. Let's feast. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
I've been waiting for this one. Yes, indeed. Oh, this is going to be so good. You ready, Monty? You've been such a good boy. Good boy. All right, before I dig in, let's do one final owl call to see if we can get him to come in while we're eating. It's so good. Um, the smoke is not cooperating right now. The guac also is so good. And it's like, I know there's like raw garlic in it and raw ginger, but like, it doesn't taste like, when you eat those by themselves, <laughs> they're awful. But it doesn't have that terrible taste at all. It, it makes a nice flavor. Which is kind of weird, but, mm -hmm. it worked. Science. Oh. Hi, Monty, come here. Come here, Monty. Hi. Don't worry, Monty, I'm not gonna flip you on your back. You don't wanna cradle the Monty after he's stuffed his face. It's, oh, and is as full as I am. I smashed all that food. Um, maybe it was a good thing the turtle took some of my, uh, fish, because, I mean, I guess, no, yeah, I'd be even fuller now, and I'm pretty full right now. I couldn't eat, I, I mean, I ate all the rice that I put on my plate, there's a little bit, there's a, there's some in that pan that I couldn't, I, it's, I'm full, okay? I just smashed. Whew! And the nice thing about rice 
is I feel like it expands in your stomach a little bit after a bit, so I'll start to feel more full. Oh. Yeah, so it's fairly late. Uh, I played with the owls for a good bit there, and the turtle situation kind of... We added a good hour and a half to dinner and stuff, because I, I took the rice and stuff off the fire to deal with the, that, and the, 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 the owls and, you know, stuff, things. Wee. Can't stop farting. It's just, it's awful. So, anyways, guys, I'm gonna clean up my crap, put out my fire and stuff like that, and then uh, I'll check back in with you guys by bedtime. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh now this is comfort, Monty. You see, I put the sleeping pad liner, bag liner on here to originally prevent Monty from ripping it because he likes to pawn, pop sleeping pads. Come on, Monty. But now I think he appreciates the comfort. that that was like record time for him laying down I think he's ready for bed oh yeah as you can see I got the cot um I'm debating and deciding if I want to bring it on this extended canoe trip I do um I mean it's it doesn't weigh much it's mainly just a little bulky I guess the only really question is um you know, you might not think it's worth it, but sleeping comfortably uh, is so important. Like, <laughs> I know it seems a little ridiculous. Like, I've got Monty's canoe mat, a sleeping pad, and this. But if I can just sleep like a baby and just, like, make it almost like a bed at home, that's ideal. Because sleeping on the ground, even with these nice pads and everything, it's still... As time goes on and, you know, I get more sore in certain places and whatnot in my back and sitting in a canoe all day, uh, the comfier I can sleep, the more well-rested I'll be, the more energy I have, and the more I can do. So it's all just kind of adds up together. So it's really not that big of a deal. But we're going to see how it goes tonight. If this is like a super comfy, it should be, I just like... I slept last time on just the pad, so now I'm comparing it to this time. And if this is so, if it's that much more comfy, like we're gonna, we're gonna probably make it work just so, you know, it's good. But anyways, I had a bunch of food and got to, you know, play with the fishies and the turtles and the owls and the loons, kinda. And I'm gonna pass out now, so I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. Good morning. Hey, Monty. Monty. Come here, my big, my big stinky doggy. Hi. Hi, Monty. Let's go. I don't believe it's getting up this early. What's going on? <sighs> oh, I slept pretty good. Not long enough. 
pretty good. Pretty comfy. Oh. Monty's shedding like a wildebeest. Oh, Monty, you teddy bear. Ooh. Oh. There's. Oh, is this hair? Oh. Uh, I can't pin up anymore. Monty is just getting hair everywhere. Ooh. Well, this morning is windy. And we got, we got to get up and get to move it. So I suppose. Let's get up. Set up against a tree and they fell over. Ooh, it's chilly. <laughs> Ooh, it's a beautiful blue skies day, but it's nippy and it's windy. Ooh, keeping the hoodie on this morning. But hey, like I said, I said it once, I'll say it again, I'll say it a hundred more times. You know, if there's one thing that I do consistently on this channel, it's repeat myself. You know, that's that much has been known from the start. Even if this is the first video of mine you've ever watched, you'll be like, wow, this guy repeats himself. Huh. Imagine that. It's just, it's just what I do, okay? And then Monty, Monty's always a big fluffy, so he's repeating himself. So I don't see what the big deal is. Stop giving me grief about it. No one's actually giving me grief about it. I'm just talking. Mind you, what are you doing? We, these are just stakes, Mind you. These are just stakes for the ground. Not the stakes that you want. The old question of, uh, am I gonna bring the cot when we go out on our extended canoe trip? And the answer is, if I don't have to bring Monty's sleeping bag due to the temperatures, I'll have enough room to bring it. I'll try to bring it either way when I'm, is what I'm saying. Because it sure was comfy. That was, that was very comfortable. Uh, it was like sleeping in a dang bed. So. So yeah, that was. That was so comfortable. Oh, I got Martin Toots. Oh. But other news. <laughs> We might be making a come back to the old Sunday uploads with this one. Yeah. We 
Get your stick, Monty. Oh, yes, you do, Monty. Bring it here, Monty, and I keep throwing it. Would have slept into that bear until probably 10 a.m. Cause it was so comfy. It was so dang comfy. That's a terrible throw. Also, I wonder, I, I don't know yet, but that microphone might be better about wind noise. Uh, so, Mr. Sir Captain Teeny Trout got a microphone like that one because I recommended it to him. And apparently the little, little dead rat on top that blocks the wind that covers the microphone is updated so that it covers the connector of the, the camera, or the, 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 the microphone, it covers the little, they were pops in and it used to not be covered so we're trying it out because apparently that lets in a lot of wind noise okie dokes I've just got a few more things to pack away here into the bag, but we gotta pack away that DSLR. Right, Monty? So, yeah, we'll pack away that camera, and we're gonna get some portage in, and move on. Ugh. Okay. Of the sun is making it warm here, and the mosquitoes are swarming again. Oh, I see. We almost beat the mosquitoes. We must flee. Yes, every part of me does want to cast a line, wet a line, and catch a booby. Catch a nice booby, or a nice pair of boobies. Oh, it's just beautiful out today. Oh, the sun is bright, but you know, I'm not putting them on. I'm not putting on this inlet, not right now. Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, that was a wonderful little overnighter. Mr. Monty is standing at attention. The mosquitoes are getting me. The wind's not here, but uh, yeah, we got uh, we got to catch trout. We got to catch boobies. We got to catch some uh, 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 bluegills. We got to dance with the owls. We even got our fish stolen partially by, we, well, we shared with nature is what we did. We shared our fish with the wildlife unwillingly. Um, yeah. So, all in all, that was a fantastic overnighter. I slept great too. All that stuff. So, like I said, hopefully we'll be getting back on track here with the uh, Sunday uploads. Because that is my upload day. It did not change to Monday. It was just, you know, stuff happened. Anyways, it's neither here nor there. 
uh, and we will be doing that giveaway soon. So, we've just got a little more paddling to do and one portage to the car, and we will be heading home to take care of Funk's mom. So, as always, if you liked the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, hit the subscribe button, and I will catch you guys at the next video. Springtime when it's like this, it's just, it's just crazy looking. All the little maples. Monty, you're just a wonderful little creature in the grass. Go ahead, Monty. Frolic. Frolic, Monty.